All right, greetings, gang. Glad you could make it here for the Thursday tip top uh, referral trade. Uh, this is Paul with Forex Smart Trade. It is Thursday, June. What day is today? June 17th. June 18th. Thursday, June 18th. Uh, here at Forex Smart Trade, our uh, uh, goal is to help you be the best version of yourself. And we do that by uh, teaching you to trade using our proprietary patented indicators and our best in the business training. Uh, uh, and we are so uh, confident uh, in our ability to train you. We will let you trade company money uh, and split the profit with you. So with that, let's get going uh, uh, with the disclosure. Uh, this trade is for educational purposes only. All information given is speculative, involves risk. A trade should be examined and taken from a personal evaluation. All attendees agree by watching that uh, uh, any trades he or she takes was of individual influence based on their own personal evaluation of the market. Uh, this uh, webinar's intention is to demonstrate a method that can be used to help make an evaluation of the current market. No past, present, or future incomes have been made or relied upon prior uh, to or during this meeting. Does anybody catch a, gra a, a, a grammatical mistake in that? Uh, a former accounting professor. Uh, this webinars, that should be a possessive webinars. That is wrong. So we will get that corrected on the next session. Uh, uh, you get better by, uh, by practicing your trading, and you also get better by uh, uh, watching other people who are good traders trade. Uh, and that's one of the reasons you're here today. But uh, the company has a bunch of live webinars. If you are not attending them, you should be. Uh, they're good for roughly 150 pips a week. Uh, so uh, if you're not earning 150 pips a week, attend these webinars. Uh, uh, I'm uh, In the beginning, I used to, to, to go to them regularly. Now uh, I'm kind of good enough where uh, it's only a rare occasion when I tune in. Uh, uh, but if you're an LIT, if you're a light, uh, they've got the LIT, uh, on at, uh, 10 at night on Monday and Thursday, 930 in the morning on Wednesday and uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. And we need to go to that the first week, uh, Wednesday night, they've got the light, uh, member meeting, uh, every night at 10, you've got Brett with the AIT. Uh, and his goal is kind of longer term, uh, 10 pips or greater trades on the LIT. They're basically looking for scalps and on, uh, the SAT, uh, Saturday or Sunday afternoon trade, uh, they're using the, I think they're using the, they used to do the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, uh when there was a difference, uh, uh, gap trading, but they've stopped doing that. Now they're using one of the techniques, uh, 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 one of the one minute or five minute techniques there. Uh, uh, for those who are in uh, trading or training or have finished training, uh, you get the MIT, uh, you, get, uh, you have the Onnit. Onnit has been moved to 8 p.m. Eastern. That's a pay for uh, trade. And uh, we have a Tuesday morning trade, and then you get the Saturday back to basics. So, uh, the more opportunities you get to be with somebody, uh, uh, the uh, you'll pick up things that work for you. Not everything everybody does works for everybody. Um, I don't have the patience to do those uh, to do those little three pip trades. Just not not for me. So you got to find what's for you and and uh, come up with your own trade plan. Uh, uh, with that, we also have. What did I do with it? I've got too many, too many things open here. Um, our daily trade plan. Uh, uh, first thing I do is I always check, make sure the internet is working. I check to make sure the indicator is working. That I've got a uh, big green line over here, or big green box over here on our charts, and I also check uh, that I am green here. And then I also check on my CoinX uh, that the number is moving down here, down in the corner here that I've got a connection. 
uh, uh, nothing worse than doing a read, and I've done it uh, when when this has been pulled back, and you're looking at the chart, and then you go to take the trade, and it's like, hey, this looks different, and then you notice that you aren't current. So always check the current. Uh, oops, how do I keep this on top? Uh, let's see. This, oops. Sorry about that. Uh, 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 review of yesterday, last week, uh, we had a winning trade on, uh, it was a 10 point trade on, uh, Euro USD. And I don't know how many pips we got. I think it was more than 10. 69 49 to 60 i don't know 49 69 to 74 69 to 74 so that was only a five pip trade uh but I, i'm pretty sure it was a 10 pip uh, uh thick orange line trade that we did there uh uh on the review of yesterday if you are making bad trades you should think about journaling what you're doing uh uh and uh maybe even taking a screenshot right before you take the trade of what you're looking at on the indicators and if the trade goes bad or you, you're getting a couple bad trades if you show me those screenshots uh, we can go through and talk about why the trade might not have worked so getting that feedback and correction is important so in order to get that feedback uh you know, we need to have something to look at. And it's good if we can see the screenshot that you were looking at right before you took the trade. Uh, I must admit, uh, again, I'm a little bit lazy. I'm not the, the best at journaling. I, I did try doing it at the beginning. Uh, uh, but again, it wasn't for me. Uh, my wife trades, she journals. So she can go back and look and tell you exactly what she did wrong. Uh, uh, and actually, it's improved her game. You know, she, she, she makes far less mistakes now than she did a month ago. So, uh, uh, next thing we want to do is take a look at the news. Take a look at the news. Uh, uh, given that we're midday, you should have already should already know this. Uh, lots of uh, 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 the news on forexfactory.com breaks it down into three categories, as you know: yellow, which is low impact; orange, which is medium impact; and red, which is high impact. You've been following the pound. All of these had a big impact. There was a big down movement today on the pound. Uh, I don't know if it's, uh, we'll, we'll check in a minute to see if it's stabilized, but uh, it, was going, it went down pretty good, uh, probably 50, 60 pips. Uh, we are at 1130. We got nothing for the rest of the day. Uh, oranges or yellows and uh, and an orange tonight, so there's nothing we've got to worry about. Uh, there may be an opportunity for some retape retracement on the pound, so we'll take a look at that. Oops, sorry about that. Um, uh, can you hold on one second? This is a call from Greece, and it's kind of important. I'm going to just mute us for just a second. Hello? Is that yes, sir. Good morning. How are you? No, I'm in the USA. In USA. Okay, I phone you because it's quite difficult to understand it on the uh, on the email. Yeah. Uh, I went to the police and uh, they told me that uh, uh, first of you, you must get the uh, permanent registration with the municipality of uh, Thessaloniki. Yeah. The consulate, the U.S. consulate there? Yes, the Greek consulate. Oh, the Greek con oh. The, it takes forever. I've, not, I've already made a request for appointment, but I won't get the appointment till till July sometime. I, I, I emailed them the documents. And I requested an appointment, and I followed up with a phone call, and they're going to get back to me. 
they, 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 they said they'd let me know about the appointment in a couple days. They said they're very backed up because they were closed with the coronavirus. Yeah, yeah, so, so... Yeah. 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 I've got my birth certificate. Yep. Yeah. All right. But so I I I I can't. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! Can 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 I call you back? Uh, I'm I, I I'm in the middle of a webinar right now. Can I call you in like twenty minutes? Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Bye, bye. Okay, bye, bye. Hey, gang. Sorry about that. Uh, th that's a a lawyer in Greece. And my mother died a few years back, and they're still trying to figure out the estate. And he's wicked hard to get a hold of. So when he calls, I want to take the call to, to find out. And, of course, he had no information. So uh, uh, it was kind of a waste of time. Uh, anyways, let's, let's continue on where we were. So uh, uh, all right. We've gone through uh, the news. Let's take a look at the trade. Uh, let us start with uh, my favorite trade, as you know, if you've been following me, is the 10-point trade. 10-point trade, I start with the majors and minors, uh, and I look to see if we are overbought or oversold. Uh, oversold, we're down here. Overbought, we're up here. If we're oversold, I'm, I'm looking for the lines to be pointing up. Uh, and there to be a double cross. Uh, we've got the lines pointing up. We've got the double cross. Uh, I don't like this Euro USD right yet. Uh, why don't I like this Euro USD? The sky isn't quite pointed up enough. The majors are kind of going sideways versus nice and steep up like what we see on the uh, on the uh, uh, miners. So with that. Let's keep going through. Uh, let's go through some more, more of the pairs and see if we find something that we like better. If we don't see anything that we like better, we'll come back and take a look at this. But we can already see he's starting to come back down. Uh, uh, pound dollar oversold. Everybody's going up. Uh, not as steep as I would like, but uh, it's not as bad as the, it's not as bad as the uh, euro dollar. So if I've got all three points here, I am going to go to my TNTs and count how many lines are going in the right direction. Two orange lines are going up. Uh, uh, when blue goes down, that means up. Dotted blue is going down. So I've got three of the four. I need to have a minimum of three of the four to take the trade or continue on with my analysis. So yes, I've got three out of the four. Um, in terms of the speeds of these lines, as you know, the thick orange is our Maserati. He's the fastest. Our thick blue is the school bus. He's the slowest. So I would expect him to turn at the very end. Uh, so we got three out of four. Then I'm going to go down to my pressure. I need to get at least one point out of my pressure. Uh, we have down pressure, but we've got green on top, and we've got it gapping. Uh, so green on top gives me one point. So I've got seven, seven points. I need a minimum of seven points with points from all three sections. I have that. So then the question is, uh, what do I want to do with that? Uh, unlike the thick orange line trade where we've told you, hey, if you see, if you see zero and you see that it's uh, overbought uh, and it's five minutes left in the hour, that's good for five pips. Here we need to figure out how many pips it's worth. So I'm going to open up my pound dollar chart and first thing I want to do is I want to take a look at where my support and resistance are uh, uh, what we're looking at here uh, my support and resistance 
uh, the thick black lines are my uh, uh, my support and resistance. The red, uh, red lines are a Fibonacci that I've drawn over it, and you'll notice uh, it matches pretty well. Uh, uh, so I want to know how many, how much room do I have up and down from where I'm going. So I've got about seven pips till I hit this uh, resistance line, and I've got 16 pips down. Uh, the question then is, and then what's and what's the what is the trend? So the last day and a half, almost two days, we're in a downtrend, uh, uh, and it's kind of a se severe downtrend because we broke we broke out of the out of the trend lines here. So I'm trading into a downtrend. I'm thinking about taking a up. Uh, move or an up a purchase a buy, but I only have five pips till 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 I get to this spot. Uh, to me, a five pip trade isn't it's not my wheelhouse. I if I'm gonna if I'm gonna put the money my money on the line, I want to take at least ten pips. Uh, to me, now uh, again, you've got to figure out your own comfort level. Eileen uh, 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 is a three to five pipper all day long and she'll take like 80 trades that's not my style i don't have the the attention or or, or uh, you know it's like too much thinking for me i want to find five or six good trades during the course of the day and uh uh, uh and and take them so uh i've got five pips six pips till i hit that line uh one thing i, I i'm interested in checking is uh uh how much did we move here so we started about here oh, let's do it the other way uh, well i guess we can say we start let's start here so on a big down move like this which was 132 pips. Um, we can expect to see some retracement, and with Fibonacci, that retracement we would expect it to to, to jump back to this 38 percent line once it starts to go. Uh, uh, it is starting to go back a little bit. Uh, let us take a look and see how strong the signal is. So. We've got up, up, up. We've got the seven points here on the 30 minute chart. Uh, I've got the still down pressure, but it's gapping uh, with green on top and it is gapping more than what we've got here. So uh, uh, when I'm looking at this 30 minute chart in an hour, I would expect to see a bigger gap here. I expect to see a gap that's closer to this on this one hour chart. On the five minute, uh, I've got sideways. Sideways generally means retracement. Uh, I'm oversold and uh, they, they're looking to push up. So I like that. Uh, on my 120 minute, I am starting to get the double cross and up. I've got the two orange lines going up uh, and the uh, uh, dotted blue coming down. So very similar to this, dotted blue is, is steeper, uh, steeper here, uh, orange lines are steeper here, red is on top with down pressure. So in two hours, I'm going to expect to see this over here where green crosses over. Uh, so I like this as a trade. The only thing I don't like is that we're on this, this side of the resistance line. So what I am going to propose is if we break up into here, say we get a little bit of a peak over, maybe even a little bit more. I think that's enough of a peak over where we're at. We're at uh, uh, 2430, 2430. If we went to 24, how about 38? If we get up to 24, uh, uh, 2438, 
and it uh, and it uh, if it hits that point, we will take a pending buy stop and we will ride it up to uh, uh, we'll ride it up to we'll ride it up twenty pips up to here to 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 right under this uh, 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 line on the. Uh, from 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 the big Fibonacci, so let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. Pop open our uh, pop open our chart. Uh, I already have a pound dollar open. If you know, I like to trade that a lot. So what we're going to do is uh, uh, open the chart. If you don't have a, a pound dollar open, you're going to go to File, New Chart. Uh, You'll find the you'll find uh, you'll find the list and open them up. Uh, I'm going to go to the second row, new order, pop it. Uh, let me highlight this. Pop in new order. Oh, where's the window? Pops it over over here. Um, what's the appropriate lot size? Appropriate lot size. The company calls it one percent. It's technically not one percent, but we what we want to do is is move this decimal place over four spots. So if I move this decimal place over four spots, this is a demo account, one, two, three, four, I can take a lot size of 0 .88. 0 .88 and be okay. And I can keep my margin in line so long as, uh, uh, so long as I don't have more than two open trades at 0 .88. So I can have two open trades at 0 .88 and still have my margin, uh, 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 be terrific. Now, what we're going to do here, this is going to be a pending trade. So instead of market execution, I'm going to go to pending order. Uh, uh, we discussed last week the, the four kinds of uh, 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 pending orders. Uh, there's a, a buy stop and a sell stop. Uh, I like to think about it as a bus stop. Uh, a bus is coming a certain direction. It's going to stop and keep going. So a buy stop, I'm going up, I want it to stop while it's going up, pick me up and then keep going on the trip. So buy stop, I am, I am buying when it goes up and I'm going to keep going up. A, a, a buy limit is, uh, uh, is the market's going down, but I'm anticipating that it's going to turn. So when it gets down to a certain spot, I want to buy it and then ride it back up. So right now we're going to be doing a buy limit. No, excuse me, a buy stop. Buy stop. And we said we wanted to get in at 1.24388. So I put that in here. 1.24388. And we said we wanted to go for 20 pips. 1.24388. Uh, so the pip is the second column over, so it's this 8. So if I want 20, I'm going to go to 58. So uh, 58, 8. Now my stop loss. Stop loss, I want to take a look at the full chart. Uh, I generally like to go two support and resistances away. Uh, so one, two. I might want to go. I might want to be down around here. Twenty three sixty eight. Uh, versus the the company recommends, you know, three to four times. Uh, I am very familiar with. Uh, I am very familiar with uh, 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 the pound dollar. I'm comfortable going this far out. So I'm going to go to 1.2368, uh, 1 which is, uh, oh, how many pips is that? Uh, uh, 60, almost 120 pips. Uh, so it's about six times based on the size of the trade. So uh, 1.23681. I'll just double check the numbers. Now the, the great thing is if, if you do screw up the numbers, it's gonna give you a big ah up, oh, but we got it. Uh, so I'm looking at it. Uh, everything uh, looks 
good. So we are going to catch him if he comes up. When he comes up, we are going to catch him. Uh, let's go back and take a look. So again, we're getting the up pressure on the five. Uh, we've got the gap here. We're uh, in the middle of the channel going kind of sideways. Uh, these guys are turned up. Uh, this has weakened a little bit since we first uh, uh, saw it, but um, you know, if we wait, we might not get this today uh, because it's toward the end of uh, you know we're in the back half of the afternoon. But uh, 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 I'm comfortable that we'll get it tomorrow, if not today. Uh, questions, comments, concerns. Any questions? All right, let's see if we have another trade real quick. Let's see if we got a, it's the top of the hour. Let's see if we've got a, a thick orange line trade, uh, something quick and dirty. So thick orange line, I'm looking for a, uh, 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 a zero or minus 100. No, 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 nothing there. Uh, no, no, no. Yes. AUD, NZD. Then I'm going to look for my confirmation on my majors and minors, but they're still kind of in the middle of the channel, so I don't like it enough. I want these lines way up above the blue. Don't have that yet. Uh, no, uh, no, uh, minus, uh, no, 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 nothing. Nothing across the board. So we got one, one trade for 20 pips. Bring your questions. Bring your questions. Now, um, if, if, if you don't recall, we are going to have rotating instructors. So this week is me. Uh, next week will be Phil. The following week will be John. And, and don't tell Phil this, but he's been trading a couple of years longer than me. He's a little bit better trader. So you'll even get better stuff. In fact, I'm going to tune in to watch Phil because I don't get to see Phil trade very much. And I want to see what I can pick up from him. So, uh, 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 so that'll be a treat. Uh, and then Eileen. Uh, so... Uh, you'll get good instruction, so it'll be a little bit different every week, get a little bit uh, different personalities. But bring your questions, because in addition to doing the trade, this is a good time to get uh, get uh, questions answered. Again, if, if you're struggling on anything, we're happy to help you here, but, but I need to see that screenshot. So take the screenshot before you take the trade, and, and uh, we'll get it figured out. Uh, anything else? All right, gang. Oh, wait, wait. We've got a couple comments. Don't go quite yet. Let's see. Uh, uh, for the uh, uh, pound dollar pending trade, the price did pass your resistance and went down. It already tested the resistance. Um, the the uh, I'm not sure I'm following the question. Want to try it again? I want it to break. It, it, it did break that resistance. It did do a peek through and came back. Uh, uh, but I think if it goes through that, once it does go through that, all right, so now we're on to the next hour. We're still under the resistance line. You know, so we're, we, we still haven't broke this. But when it does break it, I think we'll be good. A peak, yeah, just a peek through. So it, it did peek through uh, and didn't stay. Uh, you know, I, I could have I could have taken it and put it ab above the peek through, but this is kind of a large peek through. Uh, you know, we, we're eight pips or seven pips, seven and a half pips through the peek through. Uh, uh, we we could have pushed it if if you're more comfortable we can we can change that and put it uh, 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 move it a little bit higher. How do you move it a little bit higher? There's two ways to move it a little bit higher. One I could just go down here, right click, go to modify, and uh, 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 change the number, or I can just grab the line and push them up. So if you feel more comfortable doing that. So that we don't get stuck on the peak through. If it peaks through again this hour, we'll just get it on the other side of the peak through there. 
and we're we're still under at the at the take profit number uh, 2472 2472 is under is under the 2480 so we're still inside of this line so we'd still be all right so all right so we changed the trade uh we changed the trade we pushed it onto the other side of the peak through just for extra caution that'll be fine once it starts going up it it, it should come you know if it goes back up to the 38 uh percent mark you know it's going to go it's going to go through this line so we'll be good all right everybody we will see you next week thanks for joining us